What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below, as usual. This video is entitled Do Single Mothers Want Submission? What I'm talking about is, you know, <clears throat> currently, you know, and for the last few years, submission has been like a dirty word with women. But I started thinking about it. I think it's, it's more so a dirty word with single mothers. And with a lot of single mothers out there, they don't, They I think my theory is they don't want submission because they use their children as weapons to try to get the, the father of their child to submit to them. Or, you know, if the breakups, divorces, such and so on and so forth. And what I mean by that is this, if financially, no, I'm not going to go financially first. For all you fathers out there, the conversation that, that, that that's the elephant in the room in half the time is, um... If you're a non-custodial father, you, 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 the conversation is in the area. When are you going to let me see my child more? I, I want to see my child more. You have to ask slash beg slash plea. And until you do that, with a lot of single mothers, um, until you have that, like, Big conversation, you're not gonna get nowhere. And and, and half of you guys are, are still gonna see your kid because they just wanted you to bow down. And that's what they were looking for. Now that they got that, they're gonna go even harder because they want you to bow worse. So in my opinion, I can see why a lot of these young ladies and, and grown women, I'm not gonna ever submit to a man because they perver perverted what submission was because they're using their kid as a as a as a tool to try to break a guy, break his spirit, break his break his life, break his confidence, you know, break him, period. You know, but that doesn't but we don't we don't talk about this a lot. Um using the police. Or oh, if you're not gonna do what I say or do what I want, you know. If you get behind in child support, I'm going to have you locked up. It ain't about taking care of the kid and the money because I'm going to have you locked up. I want you fired. I want you, you know, I want you, you you're unemployed. I want you probably on the verge of homelessness and, and, and locked up. I want you to, to bend and break to my will. I want you to submit to me. That's how some people get down. You know, if and if you're a guy who don't have that problem, then... If you, you know, if you're in the same place at the same time, I'm going to call the police because uh, I'm in fear for my life. I'm trying to protect my child. I don't know what's going to go. Oh, somebody needs to come. The police need to come. You know, that shit, right? So, now, I want you to, I want you to prove to me that you'll do what I say. And if you do what I say the way I say do it, you can be a father to your child. But people don't look at the logic like I know, and, and this is why a lot of you have a lot of these issues because people can t see that that battle like this ain't about the kid, this ain't about the money, this ain't about parenting. This is basically you want me to do what you want me to do, when you want me to do it, where you want me to do it, why you want me to do it, because you want to feel like you're empowered. And sometimes, this is why I say, um, do single mothers want men to submit? And, you know, because there's always a, a, a way to get, to, to use the kid in, in, in the legal system to get something, you know. And, and they can feel like they're the mastermind of the situation because guess what? 
I could just make a call. I could just go to this building and I, and I could put, you know, I could put this work into your life. And even though they're, they're, doing, they're doing my bidding, I'm using them to do my bidding to make you submit. But here's it, but and this is why I say single mothers. Because um, what ends up happening is single mothers date. And then they have issues dating partially because they're controlling. Overly controlled, control freaks. But see, you can't control a guy you're dating in the same manner you could try to control. You can't even try to control the guy that you're dating in the same manner that you can that you try to control a guy that you had a kid with. So you can't, you know, you can't really call the cops on him because the date didn't go your way. You can't say, oh, oh. I mean, you people try, you know, I'm not going to give you none until you do what I say. And then, thus, you know, these, these guys have to show these single mothers, like, you ain't, I can get another woman. I'll be with you. I, I, I won't be with you. Uh, quote, unquote, I'll cheat on you, whatever. But y'all want, because it looks like y'all want these guys to submit. And that's not going to happen. And the reason I say that is because the number one problem, a few problems with this, is a lot of you single mothers go to church. And you're asking for the, a leader, but you're operating to try to break men to submit to you. So your, your, your thoughts of Religion and family are counterproductive, even the way you go about it. You, you, don't, you don't follow the rules of God or your religion the way you think you do. The other thing, you're constantly looking for men to come bail you out. You, you want, you know, this is why I say that's a bigger problem, because at a certain point, your power, your power drunk parenting and your power trip, you, you start to look at your situation and realize how powerless you actually are. And now you need a man covering his favor to straighten out your life. And I'm just talking about, you know, I'm saying as far as single mothers, you know, I need somebody to pay these bills. Why? I need somebody to protect me. Why? I need somebody to provide for me. Why? I need somebody to love me. Why? But the way you're going about it is, I'm going to need somebody to do all those things, but I'm going to try to break him into submission so he could do it in my way. Ain't going to happen. Now, and the reason I say, you know, wanting guys um, for covering is because with all of the opportunities that a lot of these single mothers have, um, blown. This is part of the reason, like, a lot of single mothers' children, children don't respect them. Because moms constantly, they love their mothers, but they don't respect their mother. Mom could do no wrong. She can be forgiven for everything. I can't say she can do no wrong, but she can be forgiven for everything, but they don't respect her. And because all of her wanting men to submit, it's at, the, it's at the cost of taking the family down a destructive path that she can't get the family out of. So what winds up happening is now you want a man to come right the ship. And at that point, The children are looking like, if my dad was such a bad guy, why do you need a man to help you fix this? This is why I say they don't respect their, their mothers. Because you wanted this submission and you want the type of guys that submit. And then you got with the type of guys that, that, that would submit. And that made your situation worse. 
And it's like, oh, this this ain't working the way I planned it. Problem, problem, problem. So, at the end of the day, your kids are starting to go to other kids' houses and deal and see other kids' lives and see how other kids live and how other kids interact with their parents. And they start to see that your way of trying to make men submit is wrong. So once your way of, of your lifestyle and your way of living is wrong, that means you're wrong. You can be forgiven because your mama, but you can't be respected because of that. So now you, 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 you're at this, this, this space with everything that you've done for submission. You've got all the family help you can get. Sometimes to the point the family stops helping. Some of you, um, y'all got y'all got money all during the year, and your kid got taken care of all during the year, and you got taxes, and you wind up broke at the same the same way all over and over again. But you want submission, and 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 I gotta bring this into this. There's the the women who have kids by multiple guys, and then the kids start seeing that. You know, <laughs> the multiple ways you try to manipulate guys to submit. You maybe have one guy that doesn't, one guy that does, one guy that, that, that actually does the lifting, one guy that mom hates, one guy that mom respects, one guy that mom says she loves but she runs over. And then you're looking at it like, the kid's like, because it's, it's, no, it's, no, um, it's no consistency. You know, and, then you, then, and that's when the kids realize, oh, it's not about uh, who's, if somebody, if, if, if a dad is a good dad, it's about if, if mom, how much power mom feel like she has over one person compared to the other. So, you know, it spills over into their relationships because now the children grow up thinking, okay, this is a, a game of control and submission. And then that's what they, they learn as kids, but then when they become adults, they have to learn the hard way. People ain't playing games with you like that. You better keep that game in yourself. And then it creates a whole nother problem. So I probably got off track, but whatever. We out.